Retsuya sparing prostatectomy is a newer form of robotic prostatectomy. Each surgery probably takes about two or three hours. There's about six small incisions across the abdomen in an upside down U, where then we can put the instruments through. The robot is attached to these ports, and that is how we are able to control the movement of the instruments. The robot arms are in the patient. We have full control over what they do. One is used for a camera, so that's how I see. Two of them are used for my main two hands that I'll be using for dissection. And then the third or fourth arm is used as a, a retraction device, and that's at the bedside. Then there's the second part of the robot where the surgeon sits, and that's a console. There's an eye viewer there, so the robotic camera actually has two lenses, one for the left eye, one for the right eye, and that's what gives us three-dimensional view. And that's where we actually control the robot. Robot. After the case, I will always look at the prostate. What I'm looking for once the prostate is out is to make sure the prostate's intact, how much nerve tissue I was able to spare. So I have a good idea of how successful we were. So then the prostate goes into a container and then it goes to the pathologist. And the pathologist tells us the most important thing, which is what is the stage of the cancer? And the patient can go home in a day or two. As a patient of MedStar Georgetown Hospital, I can say the care was exemplary. From the minute I walked in the door, the greetings that I received, the attention and the personalization were tremendous. I was diagnosed with prostate cancer and the diagnosis that was given to me was it was uh, intermediate at its stage. Dr. Kwachik is a leader in both urology as well as this retus sparing procedure. So it was a morning procedure, stayed that day through the evening and was discharged, I wanna say uh, mid-afternoon the following day. Retsia sparing is just a start. We want to be a step ahead of the curve on anything that looks like it can benefit our patients.